answer the most viral KOs, period. I'm truly gonna show the world that I outboxed Mike Tyson. You better! Listen, right? It was good while it lasted for Jake. So, all right, so listen, people, it has been a minute. We are back. There is some stuff going down. I have been a bit inactive, but I am back in business and just in time because we have a few legends in town. I'm the best ever. And when I say legends, I am not referring to Jake Paul, but to some, he might be a YouTube legend or, you know, a Disney legend, etc. Yes, I get it. He's doing incredible things and, you know, he's actually doing incredible things for the sport when you look at what he's done for the career of Amanda Serrano and, you know, this Netflix event, bringing Netflix into live sporting events is a huge deal. He's the baddest man on the planet, so let's find out. He's facing one of the best to do it, one of the goats, you know, in Mike Tyson. <laughs> ripe old age of 58 years old so that itself you know is um is, is a talking point and i didn't think we would get here i didn't think that he would make it but he has he has showed up he is in shape but man he looks knackered you know the commentators did their utmost to try and really hype up mike tyson's ferociousness and his power but man listen you know um this may not even reflect on fight night, but what I saw was a tired old man. He looks tired, he looks sore. You know, there was some breaks in the open workout where, you know, he was either not hearing the instructions or there was, you know, a purposeful delay just to give him time to recover because, you know, Mike Tyson is not the Mike Tyson that we know in his prime. Because if it was a prime Mike Tyson, we would be talking about a funeral on Saturday morning. Jake Paul will be getting wrapped up, boxed up and sent home packing. But it's not that. It may be that on fight night, Mike Tyson, you know, rolls back the years and he looks absolutely ferocious. But the problem was, could Mike Tyson make it all the way this far? And he did. He's made it. He's here. We, we have a fight. He's done the training. He's in shape. I don't doubt that. But it was at what cost? You know, he was rushed off the back of, you know, his um, illness and the flare up, the ulcer thing that happened allegedly, you know, and he's got any other health issues he's got going on. And they, they put him through some kind of training camp. We don't know what extent. We've only had these bite-sized chunks leading up until this point. And now they had to do it in front of everybody. And they did it very strategically. You know, they, I don't know if the delay in instructions in the, in the open workouts was to give Mike Tyson time to recover to throw the next combination. Because man, listen, it is not looking good. And I don't get Mike Tyson's, you know, he, he is, you know, a senior citizen. And this is coming from a Mike Tyson fan. You know, I, by all means, I do not want to see Mike Tyson get knocked out by Jake Paul. I'm fucking him up, Barrier! I'm fucking him up! They got to wrap him up in cotton wool. They've got to, you know, get him in the ice bath, get him in the cryo, get him in the, you know, do everything they can to help Mike Tyson recover in time for fight night because he's, he's taking on a young, hungry, strong, ambitious, you know, needle mover in Jake Paul at 27 years of age who, you know, is, um, who is going to unfortunately put on a show and of no real elevation to the status of Jake Paul's boxing ability. It does a lot for his bank account, his bank balance, and you know his further business ventures. But in terms of his credibility as a as a, a combat sports athlete, you know, I just can't really give him credit for slaying a legend, an old veteran who's served his time, you know, in arguably the hot, some of the hardest years of the sport. So, um, you know, there's nothing to really take from that, but oh. this is no surprise. He's used to fighting older fighters in the likes of Anderson Silva, who are way past their best. And, you know, Anderson Silva, again, a, one of the greats to do it in combat sports. And, you know, he passed it, you know, not as old as Mike Tyson, but he's up there, but he's relatively been recently more active in competitive sports than Mike Tyson. So what 
what chance do we really give Uncle Mike? And it just makes you think that, Mmm, what are we about to watch? And when he's fought a young fighter in the likes of a Tommy Fury who is a C or even D level professional boxer at best, you know, it doesn't, and he and Jake Paul lost that is, so it doesn't really say much for him. So it's gonna be interesting if, like I said, if this was a prime Mike Tyson, you know, it would be alarm bells. Jake Paul will be quivering in his boots. There'll be no chicken on his head. There'll be no talk of El Gallo. He will be El Gano. He, Jake Paul, in a lose-lose situation. If he knocks out Mike Tyson, you know, it will, everything will be highlighted on in terms of Mike Tyson and, you know, just his age for one, uh, you know, his health. Secondly, we do pray that if that does happen, that Mike Tyson, you know, comes out unscathed and, and is back to being the Tyson that we all love to see on, you know, on podcasts and etc. But, you know, if it goes south, it's even worse for Jake Paul. So, you know. I'm not gonna lose. Jake Paul has, you know, alongside Mike Tyson, because they couldn't have done it without his name, you know, they have introduced Netflix to live sports. This is massive. And should it be a success? Should Mike Tyson get knocked out? We hope no casualties. We hope no issues. We hope everyone comes out safe. I am not going to lose. Did you hear what I said? It paints Netflix in a very controversial picture that their first opening live sports, you know, uh, sporting event would be marred with, you know, something so potentially severe. So, he must die! So, is this a cash grab? Is this Mike Tyson? You know, he has said a few things. Well, and I don't know. I don't believe in the word legacy. I just think that's another word for ego. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'm just passing through. I'm going to die and it's going to be over. And, is this Mike Tyson looking for a way to secure the bag one final time to provide for his family? Because, you know, he has, he's done so much for himself and the sport already. And um, apparently, you know, legacy doesn't really mean much at this stage. So I get it. I respect it. A man who wants to provide for his family, you cannot knock it. So you meant get your bread. But hopefully, you know, Mike Tyson comes out unscathed. Oh, this personal now! In time, people will forgive Jake Paul, but you know, but hey, listen, it's boxing. These are grown men. They've signed up and they know what is at stake. And there are gonna be tons and tons of eyeballs on this fight. They've stacked out the card with the likes of Katie Taylor, Serrano 2, um, Barrios is on the card, Shushu Carrington. You know, it's gonna be, there's gonna be tons of eyeballs. It's gonna be an entertaining night. You know, I'm definitely gonna tune in. Uh, I, I might be on the edge of my seat, Part of me is praying that Mike Tyson rolls back the years for just three rounds at least, but this might be a, a quick night. And with that being said, predictions. I'm gonna predict the, the main and the co-main. I do believe that um, Mike Tyson is gonna get stopped. As for the co-main, listen, um, Amanda Serrano, Katie Taylor, the first one was an epic clash. Uh, fight of the year, I believe, and I expect nothing less. These two are game, game fighters. You know, they mean business, but I do feel that Katie Taylor gets this one done. But yeah, otherwise, in other news, there is some more fights going down. Just roll over into Saturday night. We have a return of another legend, another go in the UFC, John Jones. He is back. He makes his return at heavyweight to take on Stipe Miocic, you know, another heavyweight legend. So, man, listen, Battle of the Titans going down. And, you know, Jones, he did come back from that pictorial tear. And now he's back to continue what he started and then potentially face either Tom Aspinall, which is the, the boogeyman that, you know, seems to be avoided at the minute. What's the question? Do you want to see the winner fight Tom? The, wi the winner should absolutely fight Tom. And also the potential possibility of Alex Pereira, but he has to get through you Stipe know. Miocic. What a class act. What? He is a game fighter. He is at the ripe old age of, I think he's like 43 now. So um, age, he, he has seen his best years. You know, he has suffered, you know, devastating knockouts to the likes of Francis Ngannou. So, you know, it will really be interesting to see you know, where Stipe is at in terms of, you know, really being, you know, a contender at heavyweight. I just don't think he will be there right now. And John Jones, you know, John Jones has had a long layoff. He has had a pectoral tear. He, he did move up in weight. He is now at heavyweight. You know, there are still a few unanswered questions, but, you know, you just kind of roll back to the way that John Jones kind of this 
dismantled Cyril Garn in just quick fashion and you just kind of expect more of the same you know where wherever this fight goes you know john jones has the tools to get the job done and he's constantly learning always in the gym always training by his spell where he had to recover obviously but you don't doubt john jones is just you know he is just the goat so with that of course i predict john jones gets the job done and man it's going to be an exciting night so listen stay tuned listen but guys i have been inactive I will be back. I'm on it. Let's grow this thing and let's um, enjoy the combat sports.